Hello and welcome to Wednesday Web Chat. This is Carl Lewis. I am your host today. Um, but say I'm coming to you from Portland, Oregon, where my buddy Alex Rooney at Vision 33 would say it's a perfect day because the temperature is 33 degrees Fahrenheit. I hope you got that connection, Vision 33 and 33 degrees. In any case, it's kind of gloomy and cold and foggy in Portland. I hope the weather where you are is a little bit better and uh, you're enjoying the uh, holiday season. I wish all of you a happy new year upcoming soon. Today, we're going to be taking a look at uh, Crystal Reports basics again, this time kind of reviewing something we've spoken about before, parameters. So just as a reminder, we'll be going over uh, very quickly an example of a couple of parameters that you might be able to use uh, in your reports. I also have been asked to repeat the session we did on how to use uh, queries and uh, SQL queries uh, and convert them to a crystal report. So in an upcoming session, we'll be covering that topic again also. Just before we jump into all of the crystal report stuff that we're going to be covering today, uh, let's uh, remind ourselves that this session of Wednesday Web Chat and all sessions of Wednesday Web Chat are recorded. It takes us about seven days, and then they're placed on our website, the Total Care Customer Resources SharePoint site, to be specific. You don't need to worry about the name of that site, the link, the login, or the password, because every week in the announcement that goes out about Wednesday Web Chat, we give you a little section where the link, the username, and the password are always listed, and they're always the same for anyone who accesses this customer-facing site. So have fun and uh, review these videos and documents and many other useful things that you'll find on that Total Care Customer Resources SharePoint site. Our currently recommended version for SAP Business One is version 9.2 and patch level 4. Uh, I am running patch level 5 on my demo machine today, and it does have a little problem with Crystal Reports, so I have to bypass a certain way of uh, previewing things in order to make it work. But uh, as we've all experienced from time to time, you do have to use workarounds with software. Uh, that is the way it seems to want to work sometimes. So without any further uh, additions from me, we'll take a look at um, 